do you want me to sing the single live, the single, or do you want me to? How do you want to do that? Or did you want to spin it? Or? We could spin the single. Maybe she could sing something else, and then we'll spin the single. Okay. Is that okay? That that? Yeah. All right. Let's cool. do that. Let's do that. Let's do, um, uh, do you want? Uh, uh, let's do that tempo. Let's do jump. Jump in. mentioned it to me. I, I saw the show the year before, and I loved the whole concept of it. I loved everything about it, and I thought, you know, well, it, and I, honestly, I forgot about it until all of a sudden it was time again for it, and so my cousin brought it up to me, and I couldn't make it to the Nashville audition, and so I flew out to L.A., and it was the first time I'd ever been to L.A., in, in, to California, in my entire life. Oh, wow. So it was quite the trip, and I'm glad I made it. So the same cousin never said... 
<laughs> why don't you try out for American Idol or anything like that uh -uh. years before? Never. Just, Never. Just, I don't know, so it was almost like it was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we had that conversation. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. And uh, where's the drummer today? The drummer is back home, actually, ta taking care of business, as we say, getting the rest of the tour all taken care of, taking care of my dog, and um, pretty much doing everything back home while I get to have fun. And for people who don't know the connection with the drummer... <laughs> He's uh, also my boyfriend, and he was... On the voice with me, aka Lala. Well, his real name is Louie. And you guys were dating before the voice, <laughs> yes. obviously. Yes. And uh, you kind of came at a crossroads at some point before your cousin came up to you and said, hey, yeah. do um, this. it was either do music or what else were you guys planning? Well, I've been blessed to be able to have been doing this for a long time. I grew up singing with my parents, and oh, cool. it led me to Nashville. And then so for about the last seven or eight years, my band and I have been out on the road touring and, and you know, like they say, making one fan at a time kind of thing. But it got to the point where it, we were gone constantly, and so concentrating on getting married and having a family, we really didn't think about it until all of a sudden we're like, wait a second, that's probably something that we want to do. But doing it at the time might have not been the, the best thing because having kids on the road, I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> right? So it was kind of at that, that was the crossroads, is, was, was do I stop music right now? Or, or, and not necessarily stop music, but do I stop being on the road and touring and doing all of that and start having kids? And um, I decided I wasn't, I wasn't ready to stop that. And, and now right I'm back. Decision. I did, I did. <laughs> At least for us. Yes, I'll like. me too. I'm good with that. Um, and obviously you were on Team Blake. If yes. you had to pick somebody other than him, who would have been your second choice? Adam. Okay. Um, well, you know, they had asked us, meaning they, the producers, periodically throughout the process of it, name your top four. And I bet they've they asked probably almost ten times, I bet. It was always Blake was number one. Adam, CeeLo, and Christina were my top. And I still would have, would stand by that, even after knowing what happened. Although CeeLo said some of the nicest things to me. and um, you know, But that wouldn't have changed my decision. I think Adam and I would have been the next best fit, per se. Mm -hmm. And how come Christina was at the bottom? You just didn't think it was as good a fit? or Just not a good a fit. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think that she's probably the best singer of our generation, to be honest with you. But it's not necessarily my style. style. Now, she would have probably had definitely, I mean, obviously helped me out and made me grow and things like that, but the other three just seemed to probably I would have clicked with more. What's the best piece of advice that Blake gave you, whether it was musically or business? Stay true to who I am and, and not really worry about everybody else telling you what to do. You know, um, I, I love country music. I listen to a lot of different other genres, but I love country music, and I knew going on that show that's what I wanted to do, and... He, to me, is the epitome of that. He she's, speaks country. He sings country. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's all of that. And so I look up to him that way. And uh, now learning from him, being out on the road with him, and watching him perform has been amazing, too. So I've, I've, you know, not necessarily advice, but learning from him by watching him, he just makes every person in that crowd feel like they're a part of the show and part of his life at that moment. And it's an amazing thing to see. It's like they're in the palm of his hands. And um, so, you know, everything, every little thing you can take and, and learn from other artists, you need to do that as an artist because no matter how far you get along, there's always more to learn. Absolutely. Once yeah. you stop learning, then why like? do it? Yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. I um, mean, not only are you all on tour with him, but there's a couple other people you're opening for? Yes, yeah. I have my, I, I'm singing back up for him. So I'll be doing a bunch of shows with him, and then I have my own shows this summer. Okay. Um, including, yeah, I think we opened for Uncle Cracker and Jared Neiman. Uh, Clay Walker's coming up. And then also coming and visiting you guys. So it's a busy, busy time of my life. I, I love it. So are you going to do the CMA Music Festival, too? I am. Woo! I'm going to be... Um, um, I'll be singing LP, at LP Field. I get to do two acoustic songs then Friday night. That'll so be I'll awesome. be doing that. And then one of the biggest events in my life is coming up on June 16th. Um, I get to play the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, wow. And I get a little shivers every time I think about that. But I'm so excited about it. That's, that's, a, like, that's a bucket list. I was thing. just going to ask that. So that's Absolutely. To cross off the bucket list. Uh, Shelly Costello, that's our winner for the CMA Music Festival. So if you see her there, be sure to say I will. Hello. I will give her a shout.